Hey, Demon Driver here. Thank you for joining me. You're going to join me, and we're going to do a 70 millimeter EDF power test on a brand spanking new uh, Boeing 767-300 freighter of ABX for a customer. This is a customer's airplane. It's under construction, and this plane has a lot of features, a lot of fun things. So we're going to do an EDF power test, do a wattage, wattage test, and see how she runs. Okay? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Brand spanking new ABX 767-300 freighter. Here is the plane in question, and we have a ABX 767-300 freighter, and we are going to be testing these two brand new 70 millimeter EDFs. They are very similar to um, Dr. Madthrust 70 millimeter EDFs. They have uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 11 or 12 blade fan unit, uh, very aerodynamic, and uh, we're going to be running two Gecko 85 amp speed controllers, and we're going to also uh, wattage test it, run it through the wattage tester, and we're going to be running, and we're going to be running two 2200 milliamp six cell 2.2 uh, Nanotech six cells. Uh, 45C to 90C burst, very powerful, very powerful batteries, and we're going to run this girl up and see what she can do. All right, let me show you some of the features of this airplane. Um, this plane is basically um, foam sections cut out and then laminated with 132nd balsa. Um, we have, um, it's still under construction, it's being built. Um, we have light, lightweight, uh, hot wired styrofoam wings, styrofoam core wing with a balsa leading edge. A slat will be cut into that. The flaps are being cut out. They're all going to be functional ailerons, flaps, um, leading edge slats. Underside of the wing has not been added yet. That's going to be a um, two millimeter Depron sheet. As we can see, the engines have been hard bolted into place. They're sitting on a carbon fiber. Um, mounting tab. The main engines have been mounted. The carbon fiber strip that's going to run on the inner side of the pylon has not been added yet. That's going to add uh, additional strength and prevent a lot of this. When I start up on the engines, you're going to see you're going to see them shake. The addition of the carbon fiber rod will prevent that from happening. It'll lessen it. We have a white, lightweight styrofoam wing box, and let's show you some other cool features of this plane. If we look close in, we have a fully functional flight deck. And let's have a look at that. This will be uh, held in by um, magnets and be mounted into place. We take the cap away. Oh, and our loadmaster's taking a break. Looks like he's sleeping. All right, come on, wake up, buddy. So this is our loadmaster. We have a uh, first officer. We have a captain first officer. We have Lenny, the Wonder Chicken right there. Look at that, the ABX mascot. Uh, we have a, uh, a bathroom right there, so it's a uh, fully functional flight deck, 767-300 freighter flight deck. We got the jump seats back there, we have uh, instrument panels, all that fun stuff, two yokes. Um, we have the door back to the flight deck right here. There will be a bulkhead here so that you can't go all the way back through, but normally on the 767-300 um, freighter, there is a door, here it is, to get to the... Um, to get to the main uh, cargo bay. You go back there, through there, there's a door here, they enter, that's how you enter the flight deck, and that's how you get back to the, uh, to the main um, cargo hold. So it's really cramped up here in the 767-300 freighter. It's very cramped. I wanna show you very quickly before we uh, move on what I wanna do for my customer. This plane is sadly running, a, this project is very late, and I have to apologize. What I wanna do is give an option to the, um, is with this, I want to use this uh, 5.8 um, FPV system 
um, and give my customer the ability to fly by FPV or FPV, depending on how you say it, and give him the option of taking the taking the captain out. Give him the option of taking the captain out and basically having a bolt down uh, camera sitting here so that he can fly the plane if he wants to from the actual captain's point of view and maybe even have it where it can pivot so I want to give him that option and uh, I think that would be pretty cool so one of the things that I designed into this plane is so that the flight deck can be removed we can remove the flight deck pull that out like that so that we can get to different parts of the plane and here is the actual there's the uh, we can go inside and you have the actual cargo cargo bay um, not added yet but the uh, cargo door will have hinges so that it can open and then you'll be able to uh, as you can see we have a fully fully functioning um, cargo bay and I'm gonna make uh, mock cargo containers and uh, as you can see you know it's got a fully full-length seven six seven three hundred uh, uh, cargo bay pretty cool huh close that back up we got a lower access this is all scale this is a lower access cargo cargo hatch here and there's one aft down below where the battery is going to be stored there's the main battery bay for the lower um, battery storage down there so pretty cool huh and we just go ahead and put the flight deck back in this will be um, we go ahead and we put the flight deck back into place and this will be um, bolted into place so that the owner the customer can basically remove this if he wants to if he doesn't want this in the plane and he just only wants it in the plane for show then he can add that or he can fly with it in there it doesn't really matter put our captain back in position there and uh, it's pretty cool go ahead and put the uh, top of the top of the cockpit back into position there we go this will have magnets and it'll have a retainer bolt that straps it down in but as you can see it's pretty uh, it's pretty scale and with the camera going through that's going to be give a pretty cool uh, cool view I would hope all right well let's uh, let's turn up the juice and see what shakes loose as they say okay we're back first thing we want to do is we turn our radio on the radio is on to 767 we got good bolts there always have your throttle down good check that's good we got our batteries we got our two Two six cell, twenty two volt, two point two milliamp, or twenty two hundred milliamp um, nanotex ready to rock. We got our receiver. We got both eighty five amp speed controllers Y connected into channel three of our receiver. That's good. We want that. Okay. All right. So we got that. That's what I want. Let's go ahead and connect the batteries in. Let's get the batteries connected. All right, let's get the batteries connected up. We have, um, okay, let's get the batteries connected up. We have the ESCs, Y connected into channel three. All right, let's go hook up engine EDF number one. Power on, very good. That's good. All right, let's throttle. Perfect. That's good. That's a nice. I like it at a sound. All right, here we go. Let's power her up. Let's get some power on this girl. All right, watch what's going to happen when I throttle up. Remember I mentioned the uh, pylon jump and why I need to add the uh, carbon fiber rod? Watch what happens. All right, adding a little bit of power. See that jump? See him bounce? You see that? You see how those puppies bounced? Alright, I'm about 
Ten percent, not even, not, I meant like two percent. Ooh, they sound good. sound really good. Alright, now I'm on a diagonal to the engines. Let's run up a little bit more. Okay, let's hook up our uh, amp tester. Let's go ahead and hook that up. All right, here we go. We got powered out. Very good. Okay, there we are. There's the load side. There we are. That's the engine side, ESC side. All right, and here comes the battery. There we are. All right, we're on. All right, it's detecting everything. 22 uh, volt battery. All right, let's check these numbers. Let's run her up and let's see what these numbers do. Let's see what these numbers tell us about our uh, amperage draw, how many amps we're drawing, uh, what, what we're pulling, um, all that good stuff. Okay, all right, let's uh, run her up again. Let's see what happens. you a little bit closer in here. All right, here we go, live test. This is going to get loud. Guys, I'm not even opening this thing up to 30%. That's how loud this plane is. I swear to God, I'm going to lose my hearing. I should wear earmuffs. You guys have no idea how loud this plane is. You guys have no idea. This is loud. This is so loud, it's insane. Oh, my God. So, uh, yeah. That's what the data told us, and it uh, doesn't seem to be pulling anything uh, outside the norm, anything unusual. We do have a very hot ESC at the moment, but that's normal. It's a hot day out. Um, we got a good-sized 
2200 milliamp 6 cell 22 volt battery right here and um, this plane's got a lot of power I have to say that right now this plane has a tremendous amount of power was the demon driver here and uh, to my customer you've got one powerful 767 300 freighter this plane's got ridiculous power uh, 270 millimeters um, multi-blade lots of lots of power lots of power. This plane is going to scoot. And what's amazing about this airplane is it's going to uh, basically it's bigger. It's a 300 model, but I'm hoping this plane is going to be lighter in weight than my original 767-200 of uh, Delta. That's how much lighter my new planes are. So we got um, lightweight uh, white styrofoam laminated with 132nd balsa um, I've yet to add the cowls. The cowls haven't been added yet. They haven't been fitted. The outer uh, cowl or pylon coating has not been added yet. Um, there's a lot more work that has to be added. Uh, leading edge slats, fowler flaps, all the good stuff, all the um, servos. But, you know, the actual um, doing the EDF test is a big step. That's a big step in the right direction. So, um, you know, to my customer, don't worry too much. The, your plane's coming along. Um, I'm making progress, as you can see. We just did an EDF power test. And I'm going to continue testing. Um, just check the batteries, check the ESCs. I've never heard of these ESCs before, but um, I hope they're good. They should be good. So, things are coming along pretty good, boss. This is Demon Driver. Take care. Bye-bye.